Well, you can see at the back, we're talking about 50 years of Seasonic and we're at Computex 2025 with their boots checking out. There are some new products. There are some of new power supplies and well, let's just get in with some new technology as well. So first of all, I do need to show you this wall. We are talking about the Focus series of their power supply in four varieties of colors. We have red, I think that one is blue, white and black. Now this specifically is special edition, 50 years, Focus power supply. But I do have to admit, regarding the color, it really doesn't matter. They look quite nice with this 50 emblem right here, 50 years Seasonic Focus. On each of them, it's quite the same and they look really nice. I do have to check out this uh, blue one. Oh, that's some, that's a really nice color. Check this out. 50 years. That's a really nice color. But what we have to check out right here is, I think we had these last year for the cable management, but just these, this one right here is a 16 pin gen uh, 512V 2x6 cable, which comes with cable comms as well, uh, the 24 pin. So that's really cool. And you get this, um, some sort of a plexi cable comm with Seasonic logo at the top. There are also uh, angled ones, as you can see right here. And regular ones with the blue indication, just so you know how and when you connected them properly. Then we go with uh, MaxFlow. I think we saw those, but these are uh, 30 millimeters deep blade design. So the blade really does stretch out to, till the end. We have it in black and white. SPX 650, I think we covered that. But what I wanted to show you is, oh, and of course, the PX2200. Of course, the European Hardware Awards uh, goes to the <laughs> Seasonic uh, Prime TX power supply. But here we go. This is the Seasonic Core Dual GX1000. Uh, Basically, this one is 850. Uh, there is also a 1000 version as well, which is fully modular. This power supply can be converted uh, to a side entry power supply with a air duct. And then we have the compact size with 110 millimeters, 80 millimeters hydrodynamic uh, bearing fan and with uh, all the standard uh, protective features, seven years warranty, which is outstanding and OptiSync design, ATX 3.1, 60-pin PCI Gen 5.1 cable and 80-plus uh, gold uh, certificate. Now, this is something that I wanted to show you apart from the next power supply as well. But what we have right here is the Prime HPD PX 1200 watts with 80-plus platinum certified. Let me just go on the other side as well, just so you see. Of course, we were talking about ATX 3.1 and it has 16-pin PCIe Gen uh, 5.1 cable with OptiSync design as well. We're having 135 millimeters fluid dynamic bearing, so that's quite interesting to place uh, such basically huge fan because we're talking about quite small power supply when you take a look at it. Now, if you go and compare it with other prime power supplies, they're quite big. This, I would say, is around 14 centimeters, if I'm not mistaken, but it outputs so much power. You get 12-year warranty. All the protective features are here, but do you see this one right here? Now, let's go. This is prime Noctua edition, and you already saw the regular Noctua edition right here, right? And we saw it the last year, but just quickly, we have even the custom sleeved cables, Seasonic badge here, uh, braided completely with, uh, let's see this, outstanding. So it kind of perfectly fits the case when we're talking about the Antec and Octra, and then you add, of course, the Seasonic power supply as well in that sense. But what we have right here is the Prime HPD, again, the same thing, the same combination when we're talking about the PX1200, uh, but you have it in Noctua edition. We have inside the Noctua fan and talking about the fan, what we're having right here is the Noctua NFA1225 G2 PWM fan. So this is outstanding. Two connectivity here for the 16 pin PCI Gen 5.1 cable and everything else is the same. But basically check this out. Quite nice design. If you're going for something that is in Noctua style, this is it. So if you remember last year when we were talking about the OptiSync, uh, there is an uh, update on that as well. We're talking about improved uh, heat conduction efficiency. We're talking about to reduce the density uh, of the heatsink to create basically more space for heat dissipation 
and improving airflow performance. Now with the Prime H, uh, HPDPC build in general, which is right here, let me just show you. You get the possibility to see that the power supply is much smaller, less space, but still it outputs quite a lot of power and gives the opportunity with this OptiSync design to implement automated surface mount technology on a new PCB layout along with the use of uh, smaller MOSFETs, which then we have this type of solution where we have a smaller power supply and heatsink components as well. Increases the internal space with the power supply and this gives us an option to have a small power supply with higher uh, output when we're talking about wattage and higher efficiency. So in terms of uh, C-Sonic boot at Computex 2025, we saw an HB, HPD uh, design on the power supply, which gives us an option for a much smaller power supply in terms of uh, the size. And then what we have an option is a better thermal performance as well. So that was quite interesting to see and check out. With the 50 years, we have some, I think those are going to be limited editions, not quite sure with that uh, information. But you've seen the new design of the OptiSync, which kind of creates a better thermal conductivity, a thermal uh, design and thermal dissipation in general. So that was uh, quite outstanding to check out, as well as all the other power supply in general. And uh, the Seasonic uh, and Noctua collaboration again this year. So that was really cool to check out. And of course, uh, I'll put some additional links in the description so you can check out more information about their products in general. And of course, their official website if you're hunting for a new power supply that will just simply last. Guys, thank you for watching today's video and uh, see you soon. Bye.